Rising water, flooded cars, and a health hazard. Neighbors in San Marcos say when it rains, it just pours down with like in an hour, their streets are flooded and then the water doesn't go away for days. It's a big problem they've been dealing with. And First Coast News, Eric Alvarez joins us now live in San Marcos to show us the problem and why the city says they won't get any help anytime soon. Eric? Yeah, I am here on Riviera Street in San Marco where rising floodwaters is leading to rising concerns. Potholes, ponds, and problems for families on Riviera Street, where there's still standing water three days after storms washed through the neighborhood. Oh, oh no, oh my God. That's the voice of Edward Descalar as his wife walks through the street. And by the time she gets here, she's wearing rain boots and the, the water is already at her knees. The water, Smells terrible. Flooded his car. It becomes a hazard. You know, you don't want black mold growing in your car. Descalar isn't just a concerned neighbor. He's also a doctor who says flooded streets aren't just inconvenient, they're also dangerous. Um, you have to kind of walk through dirty water and it becomes a health issue. It's a safety risk. But it's a safety risk the city says neighbors will just have to live with. The Department of Public Works tells First Coast News it's planning to add a pump station nearby on LaSalle Street. But the $8 million project is still in the design phase, and once that's done, the construction will take about a year and a half. Rainwater that doesn't drain. Meaning Descalar and his neighbors might not see any changes until 2020. What I'd like to see happen is a faster solution. For now, Descalar says he always keeps a pair of boots in his car because when the water rises, he has to park all the way down the street and he has to walk through that standing water just to get home, which obviously he and the other neighbors around here say is downright unacceptable. Live in San Marco, Eric Alvarez, First Coast News on your side. Thanks, Eric. Now